Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video, I'm going to continue this strand that I've been working on, but I'm also going to give you some tips. Um, for example, when you are thinking about which designs to use, um, you want to consider the shared, if you're going to go from strand to strand, you want to consider the shared bead and whether they are the same color. If they're different colors, you would want to make sure that the design color gets priority. So if this one was to go underneath this one, then you would make this bottom bead here a design color so that it would be a design color when you began this piece here. If it were the other way around, this one was to go on top of this one, you wouldn't need to worry about it because its design color would get priority over this background color. Um, otherwise, you can just use the connecting piece to connect the two pieces together, and then the, the sections can just keep their colors as they are. Now, the ones that I've decided to use happen to, in the order I'm using them, fall perfectly so I don't need to worry about that because the, um, let's see, here's an example, the shared bead, which is the bottom of the previous one and the top of the next one are the same color. Now, um, you want to also remember that because each of these, even at the very beginning, you're starting here. Um, so just remember that this is always the first circle of your next section. So we will begin. Let's see. Marker, there it is. And on this one, we are using the one needle technique. So we're this one is already on our piece because it's our shared bead. And let's see. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Um, that is another thing you want to consider is you need to also look and make sure that your design is facing the correct way before you start your next section so that you keep your designs going the way you want them. On some, for example, these here, it won't matter because on both sides the design is exactly the same. However, on some of them, as you can see with this one, the design is slightly different on each side. So you would just match up your design to make sure it's facing the correct way before you begin your next section. Like I said, on this one, this particular design, I don't need to worry about it. We're currently using sea mist and turquoise. And sea mist is our background color, so we need one of those. And the turquoise, oh, sorry, I got that backwards. Sea mist is our design color, and turquoise is our background color. Okay, that's our first circle for this section. Now one, two, three, four, five.
you notice on this one I'm not really keeping track of my um, previous circles as both sides of this piece are the same. But when we move on to the next one, I will need to be more careful because it does have different sides. So as you do it, you want to make sure that um, you're going in the correct direction with your circles and adding the pieces in the correct order. If you find it's easier to just um, bead without not worrying which direction, then be sure to find designs where both sides are the same and then you can just bead and you don't need to worry about whether your piece is laying in the correct direction. This is our last circle for this row. So we are going to go up this side bead to prepare us for the next circle. Now, if we um, were working on this piece, I would need to see which side I was on. But as this piece, as I've said, is the same on both sides, we don't need to worry about it. So we will just begin. We're coming up. So we're going to add one, two, three, four. And we'll go in through the bead coming on the opposite side of the string and then through the bead with the string. And then we'll go up our two side beads.
going to go across the other side, go through one side bead, the center, and then side bead. And then we're going to add one, two, three, four. to have yep I made a boo-boo on the other side I'm going to backtrack sorry if I lose you here and right here I need this one to be a turquoise turquoise and we're right here redoing this piece right here that's the only spot where I made a mistake yes That's one plus to having it the same on both sides is when you start the other side if it looks different you suddenly go oops I made a boo-boo now we're adding these three beads back on cross back over to the other side now we'll re-add these four beads back to adding these three
and the last three for this section. And we're coming out the bottom, so we're ready for adding our next section now. On this piece, I have a three set, so I use um, connecting before I go into the next set, where I'll be changing colors as well. Um, however, if you wanted to go from section to section, changing color each time, what you'd want to do is decide whether you want the top section to take priority or the bottom section. If you choose to have the bottom section take priority, then when you get to your shared bead, which is this one here, you would want to make sure to use the color of the next section because that's how you would make it have priority is by making sure this bead here on your previous section was its color because that is the shared bead. Um, but if you're making the top section take priority, then you don't need to worry about it. You just do this section just as it is, and then when you come to the next section, this bead would be the other color. You would just not use that on the new section. But for me, I will be using connectors when I for changing colors. So here is my next section and I'll be using my top color for the um, connector. So I will want two of those. And my next set is let's see, uh, mint and mauve. And mauve is my background color, so I'll be using it. And then I'll need two more connectors. And there we have ourselves ready to begin our next section and color combination. Now this one here is slightly different on both sides, so we will want to keep track of where we are and which direction our piece is laying for just this section, because like I said, the top here, it's the same on both sides, so this part we don't need to worry about, but this section we will need to, and as you continue, this particular design will be different for all three of the sections of this um, part. Alright, so we've added our top, we're going to, we've added our shared bead, and now we're going to add one, two, three, four, and five. So we want mint. mint, mauve, and then two more mint. Here we want to make sure to lay it down to match our design and then 
we will add the next set of beads Is this is our last circle actually I'm going to go back this is our last circle so we are going to go up through the third bead on our side now we want to make sure we know which side our string is coming out of it is coming out on this side here because you have your um, design color and design color here so that means we are coming out right here so we want to add one two three four go through the bead on the opposite side of our string and then through the bead with the string and then up through the next two side beads and one two three go over to the other side and if you don't mark off your pattern then you want to just make sure that you know you're on this side now because you have your three design colors here and actually at this point no I think I'll add one more one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to secure this end and show you how to add a new piece of string. All right, now. For this, you want to go through at least three circles doing a weaving and then coming back. It really doesn't matter which direction you go. Um, I'm going to go up and then back down.
now because of the fan out polish I'm not going to be able to go but I would go through the next two beads also but it should be fine here for um, my piece so I'm going to go ahead and trim off because I don't want the fingernail polish showing through my beads and then when you're ready to begin with a new string which I had hold on a sec it fell off the table and updated all right. When you begin with a new string, you want to see where you want to be, which we want to be coming out of this, um, the next two here side beads. So you want to go through this side bead here. That's the one you want to be coming out of. And you want to just pull through enough string to secure. And then you want to do the same thing is go through three. So I'm going to go up through the center here. And you want to just do the same weaving motion as you just did. Now depending on your bead and your string, if your beads, bead holes are pretty small and your string is a little thick for it, you might want to make sure to go a different direction than the last time. Um, for example, you could come over on the side or something knowing that you just went this way with your your last secure But these beads I'm using the holes are quite large So um, I don't have any restriction as to which direction I Secure my string Let's See we're here. So one two and this is the third one And then we weave coming back. trim off our short string. Make sure you're trimming the correct one. Don't want to accidentally cut off your working string. And then we're all set except I just noticed the knots. We're going to get that out real quick. And we're all set to add our last circle. Have this one here. So now we're going to add one, two, three. And as this is our last circle, we will end coming out the bottom. Hmm. I'm grabbing onto my other piece. stop here. Um, this video was mostly for giving you tips as I went and showing you how to add an extra string when you finish off your previous string. So the rest of this strand I'm actually going to finish off video and the next video I will show you how to add the strand you're working on to your curtain. Um, see you then.